Yeah, hi everyone. Jason here, Robot Lawn Miles Australia. Um, and today we're having a quick look at the uh, Luba Motion Luba uh, all-wheel all drive 5000 model uh, being tested on a property that's got sort of basically sort of complete tree cover, but the tree cover is still sort of relatively light in regards to so you can still see the sky uh, up through the tree cover, no problems at all. But the entire area here uh, that it's working in um, is completely covered, so there's no there's no open area here whatsoever. Um, and there's the sort of bit of a fence. There's quite a lot of obstructions to, uh, to, you know, to basically stop Luba from being able to do his job. Uh, but he's been able to do this quite, quite reliably. Uh, he's been here for approximately two weeks now. Um, and we've had no signal issues uh, or positioning issues at all with the robot. Um, really, has, uh, really has done a really good job. The only, uh, the only thing we've sort of come across here is really up at this front fence here where it's just very sandy and the grass is very, very light, uh, is that Luba's obviously creating quite a bit of damage around the edge here. Um, not that there was really any real grass there to start with, um, but because of Luba, it's obviously it's, it's not really going to uh, recover. Uh, thanks to a plane going overhead as usual, take a video and noise just suddenly appears. And so yeah, look, so Luba's been really doing a great job. Um, you can see through here, here, that you know there's nice lines in the grass here all the way through as well so it's been holding really straight lines all the way through uh, you know, through the tree canopies here as well um, it really has been doing quite a decent job so yeah so it's basically it was just a, a test here uh, particularly because of the tree cover in this property um, that really gave us the uh, gave us a bit of a bit of a, a view of how how Luba actually operates in properties that have got you know you know, complete tree coverage, but as long as that tree coverage is fairly light. Um, I'll just walk up the other end here and just show you quickly. I can get past Luba without him running me over. Um, and I'll just show you quickly the uh, how thick the tree cover is up here further, because it, it is, you know, the, the gum trees up here are, are a little bit thicker, and the Ponciana here is quite thick uh, as well. So, obviously mowing on the, the, uh, on the edges as well, on the side of the slopes here has been yeah, don't, no problems for Luba whatsoever. Um, this is the 5,000 meter model, uh, model that we've got here. So it has got the uh, standard wheels, not the Omni wheels. But in this sort of section here, you can see that uh, the tree cover is still a lot thicker, um, but you can still see blue you know, through the trees, which is sort of where we're starting to, you know, to settle on our advice to our customers is that if you can see blue sky uh, through the tree canopy, uh, then Luba is generally quite okay to use. So we'll leave it at that. Um, if you have any questions, always uh, just give us a buzz. Uh, email us at sales at robotlawnmowers.com.au. Um, you can uh, find a whole bunch more information on our website at www.robotlawnmowers.com.au. Um, or you can check us out on all the socials, uh, on the Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, those sorts of things. Just uh, look for Robot Lawnmowers Australia. Thanks for watching.